Steve is with manager Billy Irwin. Billy, how long have you been at Dunstan UTS Football Club? Um, start of this season will be my 19th season at the club. Um, 10 years as a player, I think. Um, two or three years as assistant manager. And I think this is my seventh year starting now as manager. So 19 years in total. Looking forward to this season coming up. Uh, still hungry for success for the club and that, so nothing's changed on that respect, you know. You had some success in 2012. You took the club to Wembley, the FA Vars. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that and the experience that you had there. Yeah, the experience was unbelievable. Not just the final at Wembley, the run that we had was uh, incredible. Uh, the group of players we had there was a lot of experienced players who knew the football and how to win games. And they were a different breed, you know, they were brilliant. And they'll go down in the club's history, you know, and rightly so. Uh, I was down to the players who were different class that, that season, you know. It was just one of them years where everything clicked. And um, it was great for the area and just unbelievable achievement and great memories. As a player at Dunstan, you obviously played as a defender. Yeah. And, and you'll have seen a change in the game at, at this level in particular. Yeah. Um, it, would you say the Northern League that you're managing in is different to the Northern League you've played in? Yeah, I, would say it com I wouldn't say it completely different. The same basis of their hard work and graft. Wherever you go, whichever game you're playing, it's exactly the same. If, if you're not on the ball, you'll get turned over. But I think there's a lot more football and teams in the league now. It's not just like, I don't know, up against each other and heat the two of them and hitting people hard. There's a lot more football played at this level now. Um, some good teams, good clubs. It's just getting stronger and stronger every year. Dunstan are lucky to have a main sponsor in, in yeah. UTS. Sean Sadler's been a, a big, big help to this football club over the last seven or eight years. We're seeing a lot of investment in the Northern League and mm -hmm. we just need to look at South Shields who are, are coming yeah. into this division um, all guns blazing mm -hmm. but, but off, the, off the park financially being backed by a uh, you know, very you know, rich influential yeah. person. Is that something which you, you think is going to affect the division for the better or for the worse? I would say for the better. Um, they're just going to make it stronger. Like I've just said before, the team that they'll have will be like, on paper, will be the best team. It doesn't mean they're going to win games and stuff like that. And, Two games into the season, it's been proven, you know. It's like a really hard league, tough league to play in. But um, the finances that are in the league at the minute, I'm not jealous of stuff like that. You can only pay players what you get, you know. And um, I'm happy here. Um, we've got a good bunch of players and we're looking to do well this season. A lot of ins and outs th this yeah. season, and uh, you know which which players should, should people be looking out for from from Dunstan? Do you think? Uh, we've went we've went down the route of uh, a lot of young lads this season. Uh, I think I've got four in from Gateshead who got released from the academy and that have come in and they've been a breath of fresh air. Actually, they want to play for the club and uh, giving them a chance here to get minutes on the pitch. And you never know. There's four of them who are 19, 20. You know, if they hit the ground run, clubs might come looking at them. You know, so that's the route we're going down this season. Few experienced heads in there to try and bring them along, um, but all in all, we've got a decent squad. You've got a little uh, change in, in the coaching side of things. Steve yeah. Bowie's come in. Um, yeah. What what new ideas has he brought to the team? He's just so enthusiastic in the change room, off the pitch, on the pitch. He's just like he's like a little firework, you know. And he can still do a job on the pitch as well. Um, and obviously, the lad who was assistant was Tony Harrison was brilliant. Um, if it wasn't by him, I wouldn't be here where, where I am now. He's just taught us loads, you know. Um, but having bows are in, the lads love him. He's gained respect straight away because he's, he's done it at a higher level, you know. And um, we've got Stephen Harrison as well, who's chipping in with all bits and stuff, who's, who's been great as well, you know. Andy Clark as well on the yeah, goalkeeping side. Clark, yeah, Andy Clark, yeah. Goalkeeping coach, he's a proper club lad. He's, he's been here just as long as me, you know. But um, loves the club. And um, no, the three of them are really good, you know. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to run what we've got here. Attendance has seemed to be up as well at Northern League and ga Northern yeah. League games here in particular. You know, yeah. you know, we're averaging decent crowds and decent decent mm -hmm. gates. But I mean, that that's got to be you know good when you see teams like Newcastle and Sunderland struggling as they have in recent yeah. years. It seems to be driving people back towards them. Uh, right? I think that's that, that helps it. But when people come here, I think it's six pound most Northern League clubs you go to. You know, and you see players putting an honest shift in. You can get close to the players. You can actually see tackles. You didn't see that watching Newcastle and Sunderland. Players have been to work all day. Um, they'll go and yeah, have a bite, eat a cup of tea and a cup of coffee, then they're here, giving everything they've got, you know. Supporters appreciate that, you know. FA Cups here, Saturday, yeah. uh, Penrith at home. Mm -hmm. How would you fancy your uh, chances? Yeah, it'll be a tough game. I've, I've watched them uh, last week. Um, good team, got some new players in, um, but, but at home, so we need to take advantage of that. But um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's a one-off game. 
we just have to prove a fight at a club, you know, to get through that and then with it, whoever wins that or a tour again, so looking forward to it. <laughs>